welcome again to another episode of Nerf News, your number one source for Nerf News on the net. I'm your host, Drac, and today we're talking about Halo. Now, uh, I'm sure that a lot of people are tired of hearing things like this, but if you took all of the super fans of Nerf and all of the super fans of Halo and you made a Venn diagram, it would be huge. And then if you tightened it down to like super, super fans and super, super fans and started using metrics like how many Xbox 360s did he win at tournaments in high school versus how many Nerf blasters uh, has this dude purchased versus how many hours did he spend on the Halo trilogy, uh, you would eventually narrow it down to me in a suit of Spartan armor holding a tiny baby jinx. So in my humblest of opinions, that leaves me pretty qualified to talk about uh, this upcoming launch, this partnership of Nerf and Hasbro. But before we do a deep, deep dive into it, we have to talk about how master toy licenses work, the fact that Halo is no longer owned specifically by Bungie and is now owned by Microsoft, which is in and of itself a terrific shame uh, for the brand as a whole. But uh, we need to talk about how Mattel had the master license for Halo toys. That's why we wound up with Halo Mega Blocks instead of Halo Legos, which is obviously pretty terrible. And it's also how you wind up with Halo Boomco Blasters. Boomco was Mattel's attempt at taking on the blaster space by storm, but they did it in a textbook case of why you should always strive to be compatible with your market leader so that you can kind of glide into an ecosystem instead of clashing up against it with your non-compatible uh, 40 cal straw dart things. Now, uh, I've said a lot of things about Boomco over the years. That's not what this is about. Boomco is a pretty dead product line, but uh, for the longest time, they had the master toy license in Mattel to make Halo Blasters. And they actually, if there's one thing that kept the Boom Co. death throes chugging along for as long as it did, it was unequivocally that they could make Halo Blasters, which is a massive, massive video game franchise and is really, really cool to pull from. An example of which is this. I don't remember specifically what this MSRP'd for, but I know that you can buy it brand new on the internet right now for 25 bucks. I wanna say it MSRP'd for something around 40, and I know for a fact that you could get it from GameStop at $40 at one point retail. Uh, but for that, you got a not quite life size, but very close uh, needler. And that's an eight shot needler. It primes like this. And then I think it fires and then forward, back, fires, forward, back. And I wanna say, this eight shot revolver had slam fire and it definitely did. You also got a light up needled boom code dart uh, sort of feature coming out the top that not only glows and pulsates as though these are real needler shots from the video game, but also as you click down your trigger, counts down as though they are firing through just like in the video game until they're gone and then you reset them and they come back to their glowing pulsing self. This was so popular with cosplayers that you can actually buy resin cast crystals that resemble the needles better on Etsy for like 10 bucks, specifically mated to these LED emitters uh, in this replica blaster. And that's because it was affordable, it was actually pretty decent for a Boomco blaster, and it had some really cool gimmick to it. So that's the market loser. Let's talk about the market leader. So our press release from Hasbro says that there's gonna be three blasters initially dropped in early, early October for the Halo X Nerf line. And I'm pretty excited because one of them actually looks decent. I'm also pretty gutted because two of the most iconic weapons from the Haloverse, including an opportunity to really show up the Needler from Boomco and a massive Spanker rocket launcher, which would have been an amazing integration for Demolisher or a perfect excuse to bring back Titan missiles. And if you could do it on the cheap for the stupid Fortnite rocket, it's just, there's no excuse for turning these into micro shots for your primary launch unless you have so little faith that the market is gonna react overwhelmingly positive to the Halo X nerf thing that you like wanna kinda coward your way in there with a couple of low entry point, easy sort of like uh, wall hangers and stocking stuffers along the way. And so I get it. Hasbro's way of entering into new uh, sort of franchises or licensing agreements is to use micro shots. But did you have to blow your needler and your rocket launcher on it? Couldn't you have done something that made more sense in that form factor like the M6, uh, a classic sidearm from the Halo unit 
universe, which by the way, Boomco already did a pretty decent job on. It's definitely the most popular amongst NIC players to really just overclock the super comfortable ergo of the, uh, the classic M6 sidearm. Or maybe you could have done a plasma pistol, but no, instead of taking two of the smallest, most compact things to turn into micro shots, you decided to package your jolt into two of the most iconic and one of the largest things that you possibly could have done. That just doesn't make sense to me unless you're here for like a quick cash grab. And I really, really think that there's far more meat and potatoes to get at here. So fortunately, there is one primary class blaster, but unfortunately, there are also some misconceptions. Let's talk about it. So what you're seeing right now on screen is the upcoming M40A Halo Nerf Assault Rifle, or AR, and it looks really good. It's good form factor. Now, nothing will ever be as cool, as quintessential, as iconically Halo as the MA5B from the original Halo C, but that's just me. Uh, you can tell a lot of things about how this is going to function as a blaster. You can also tell that this is a unique colorway. Uh, definitely in true Hasbro fashion. They're trying to take it as far away from real steel-esque or actual weapon looking, so this is not gonna be the default skin from the game, guaranteed. This is gonna be something goofy that you either pay money for, or in this case, if you buy this blaster in real life, you get a code that lets you unlock this skin in the game in Halo. Remember back when Bungie was in charge of the Halo franchise and you just bought a game and got the whole game and skins meant that you were actually good at it? I, I, I remember. Hayabusa armor. All right, so microtransaction salts aside, the M40A actually looks really good. Assuming that it's sized for an adult size, not necessarily a Spartan-sized body, uh, it's got a good foregrip, it's got a great control center, it's got a sort of funky uh, magazine release, which you can kind of tell is that tab in the back left there, uh, but that said, it comes with a proprietary 10-round magazine now. Hasbro is, of course, going to call it a clip, but we're used to Hasbro being wrong about that nomenclature at this point. We're almost 10 years into that mistake, so... Uh, talking about it in terms of performance, this is where a lot of people have made mistakes. Everybody seems to think that this cheek rest built in that's clearly molding from the game is going to be a cover for some sort of like hyper fire style belt loading system so that this thing can be full auto. And I have bad news. At 10 rounds of capacity, I already suspected that this was going to be semi-auto. Now we know it's electronic, we know it's going to take batteries, and we know it's going to cost 50 bucks. So 50 bucks is right at that tipping point where it could go either full auto, uh, hyper fire, or it could tilt back towards semi auto uh, legendary Fortnite assault rifle and unfortunately if you look at the actual press release for this stuff and you zoom in on a very important part of the description here in addition to the price and the date you see that it says verbatim the blaster comes with a removable 10 dart clip and 10 official nerf darts enough to fully load the clip sounds like they've been listening to my videos and are trying to get my complaint out of the way early to start playing Hold down the acceleration button to power up the blaster's motor, then press the trigger to fire one dart, period. New sentence. Press the trigger again to fire another dart. It goes on to talk about the game and optics, but that's not what we're focused on. That's a description of semi-auto, at least in terms of how Hasbro's marketing understands semi-auto fire. Not select fire, not full auto, this is not a modulus blaster, this is going to be a replica blaster just on the line and the, the wavelength of the Fortnite Legendary AR. They're releasing it early because it's an iconic gun from the game that they think is going to sell really well, and they're going to use it to test this market to see if we'll buy more blasters. So, all I can say is that this guy is really excited for a $50 blaster that looks exactly like Master Chief's iconic weapon from this upcoming game. Uh, am I going to paint it in the stylings of an MA5B? Absolutely. Am I going to take one of my buddy Nathaniel Deal's ammo counters and make it like actually count ammo like it does in Halo C? Yes, I'm going to do that too. Uh, is it going to be awesome? Absolutely. I hope, 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 hope that it's Nyx Cage compatible so that I can live out my little vamplet fantasies of running around in Master Chief armor with an actual practical HVZ uh, primary. It probably won't be. If it's anything like the, the Fortnite AR, I'm gonna have to tweak some screw posts. That said, that was kind of compatible and we did make it work, uh, but um, I'm really excited for that blaster. I'm extremely disappointed in the micro shots. I think that they're a pretty blatant cash grab, but I'm going to buy them anyway.
And I'm going to do that because unfortunately, even though I really disagree with a lot of Hasbro's marketing practices right now, I want this line to be commercially successful because I really want them to start going back in time. I need a Halo BR that's spring powered. Uh, get out of here with your DMRs like the battle rifles where it's at. I absolutely need them to make some sort of uh, compact slide retractable uh, M6 sidearm. I'd really like to see some lights and like cosmetics that are worthy of the halo library of aesthetics and ultimately like i'd really like to see some gamestop kind of costumey packs like how do i do like a full sanghealy um covenant rifle pack for a hundred bucks like i'll pay that kind of money they finally have me right where they want me i am super duper into this franchise i think this is really exciting i'm thrilled that mattel doesn't have this master toy license anymore and i'm pretty sure that uh the people who have it right now are my friends down at jazzwares and i'm super excited this year at toy fair to see what they're doing with it because that is also very 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 exciting stuff crazy stoked for these we'll keep you guys up to date uh in terms of like their launches their leaks their releases along the way any modification potential that we get out of them i'm stoked and i'm not upset for the sake of being upset i'm upset because i'm really passionate about this franchise and i don't want to see it done wrong again like i think that boomco did the best job that they could with the franchise and we got a lot of really good cosplay pieces out of it and some of them are like legitimately amazing examples that i think hasbro would have a really hard time doing knowing how much they like to upcharge on stuff like this uh but i'm imploring them to do something that's as cool as this needler because i think that this was the biggest winner from the boomco batch in terms of like overall value and i'd really 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 like to see something from the number one blaster brand in the world along that line that's my take on it let me know what are you excited about do you think that it's a flop or is it going to be hot are you willing to wait all the way until october for it and how much more hype machine do you think we're going to get out of this uh, on the road to there along with other releases let me know comment section down below like it's this is one of the things that i'm most excited about uh from hasbro in 2020 the fortnite stuff was quirky and interesting last year but it wasn't really for me uh this seems like it's directed almost like laser beam style right at this workshop so uh thank you guys so much for watching feel free to comment down below with questions about what's going on at toy fair and as always much love nerf on drag out